Welcome my friends In this video we will continue and explain the fundamental binding system in power and petrochemical uh, plants In lecture number one we explain and discussed what is the binding system and how piping system is formed definition of the pipe and how to generate the beyond ID beyond ID it is a piping and instrumentation diagram okay today we will show and understand what is beyond ID characteristics of beyond ID what is the usage of beyond ID also we will explain the piping drain and vents In lecture number one, we showed this sample for B and ID piping and distribution diagram created by Cadme software. This is a screenshot for B and ID created by Cadme software. If we click here, we'll show all data related to this pipe. Okay. pipeline number and design conditions maximum operating conditions specifications all data okay <coughs> let us look into sample for beyond ID for understanding what it be on ID piping and instrumentation diagrams this is part of beyond ID of the M water transfer system First, let us to know what is types of drawing. What is the type of the drawing? We have more types of drawing. Number one, process flow diagram, which show what is the process does. Number two, piping and instrumentation diagram like this. Number three, layout drawing. Number four, mechanical drawings as construction drawings, isometric drawing, and so on. This sample for beyond ID. We want to know first what is the characteristics of beyond ID. Characteristics of beyond ID, it is grouped by specific sections of the process. It is schematic, not a scaled layout. Okay, it is clear and si systematic. Usually confidential, and it is revised often with revisions clearly identified. As we show here, we we show we show more symbols here for equipments and instrumentations and uh, piping line okay what is the element of the ID element number one it show equipments and valves identified these symbols for equipment valves as we see here an instrumentation okay like this piece is your pressure uh, gauge temperature gauge like this okay Path between instrumentation and the control valve. This here valve and this instrumentation. There is path between valve and instrumentation control devices indicated. Piping size and type identified like this. We see the size of uh, line reducer eight by six inch. So it is show piping size and type identified for all items. Second, we want to know what is the usage of the ID. Number one, it develops operational methodology. Operational methodology, okay? Methods for the operation. Number two, develop safety philosophy and design. Number three, develop control philosophy. Number four, basis for control programming. Number five, it's a communication document for project. Also, it serves as design basis for equipment design, by being design, estimating and purchasing. Also, it is uh, it is used to evaluate construction progress. Finally, it is a training basis for operational personnel, for the operation personnel to train how to operate the plant, power plant or petrochemical plant. This part beyond ID for the M water transfer system. If we click here, we see the ISO related with this beyond ID. If we click here, it's piping isometric drawing. 
from the piping 3D model we create the piping isometric drawing first the designer make 3D model 3 dimensional model after that he create the piping isometric drawing this piping isometric drawings are used to fabricate and erect the piping at job site this sample for ISO related to the beyond ID okay this part is the metric for the M water transfer system. If we click here, we will see beyond ID again. This is beyond ID. After the beyond ID is ready, we start the layout work. Here we carry out pipe routing layout in virtual 3D environment. We use BEDWP software to route piping in the planned virtual 3D space. P4 Piping D for design, W for work, P for pinch. This is software to route piping in the plant. We call it as piping modeling or physical design. Why? Development of piping layout, we have to consider the following. Piping from source to destination should be as short as possible with minimum change in direction. Number two, shouldn't hinder any normal passageway. Also, shouldn't encroach in equipment maintenance space. The schematic for this recommended, this not recommended because this is short and normal passageway, okay? No hindered for the flow. This long, so it is not recommended. While carrying out pipe routing, we also need to consider the following. Valves, strainers, instrumentations, okay? Should be easily accessible. If needed, separate access platforms to be provided to facilitate this for platform. Desired location and orientation of valves and instrumentation and other pipe components are to be checked and maintained. Like some valves or strainers can only be installed in horizontal position. Also, specific requirements for instrumentation to be checked, like temperature gauge, can't be installed in the pipe which is then for inch size. Specific requirement of straight lens pipe for some components to be maintained like for flow orifice we need to provide 15 times diameter straight pipe lens for upstream piping and five times diameter straight at downstream for for orifice this sketch for straight lens requirement for all flow orifice this flow measure orifice for upstream this valve upstream this downstream for upstream it's recommended to this distance to make 15 inch for the diameter of the pipe for downstream to make 15, 5 inch for diameter this flow direction for downstream 5 inch for upstream 15 inch for the diameter of this pipe where pipe diameter D by inches now we will explain what is the piping drain and vents for piping which carry out uh, carry liquids, we have to make sure that all layers is allowed to vent out of the line when the line is filled with, with liquid. When make a uh, hydro test or filling the line by liquid, you should make vent for the pipe to vent the air from the line. To achieve this vent connection with valve is provided at the topmost point of the pipeline. So vent at top point, highest point and the drain for the lowest point also arrangement is kept in the pipeline so that liquid can be drained out if required to achieve the drain connection with valve is provided at the lowest point of the pipeline pipes are also sloped toward the low point so that if there is slope it should be at the lowest point let us look into typical vent and drain arrangement in piping we will show where is the highest point here the highest point here the lowest point so highest point of the piping so we see vent valve with vent to vent air here the lowest point we will see drain with valve to drain the line let us have a look into piping model done by BDWP piping design workbench software show piping system for valves and fittings and piping okay here we see 
45 elbow and 90 degree elbow reducing coupling straight T union lateral get valves angle valve okay screenshot for piping design workbench program software which show piping systems and related to uh, equipment like pumps this is BDWB model feed water line along with pumps and other accessories <coughs> this is piping isometric drawing as we said before related to beyond ID so if we click here we will see beyond ID this is beyond ID okay Finally, to get new and more information about piping and metallurgy, any objects related to metallurgy, please make subscribe to the channel. Thanks to all. Goodbye.